All right, all right, all right, all right. Hello, Facebook, YouTube. Oh, heavens is on the scene, y'all. Heaven looking nicely. Look at heaven. Woo, look at heaven right there. Woo. Heaven, heaven. Heaven. Hope this kind of stuff helping you look up, you know, in your busy schedule. Yeah. Yep, heaven doing what it do, what it do, what it do. Now it's still got a win, guys, and we're halfway through the month of got a win, you know. And hope my videos are and my scriptures, Facebook, are helping you get an understanding of fearing God. You know, it's very important, you know, to learn to fear the Lord. Well, you will find out, hopefully. But, you know, the thing is, we just got to come to, uh, you know, people just have to come to grips in the things, you know. I tell people, lust, you know, put oil on your hands, you know. And, you know, and when, you know, lust put oil in your hands, it makes your hands slippery. And that what it makes your hands slippery that you can't hold on to the truth. Yeah. Hold on to the truth. People, you know, really don't try to think that they should hold on to the truth. I mean, even though, you know, they all kind of negative stuff is going on. I mean, it's like the question is how many negative stuff is going on? I did a message a long time ago on Godwin. I think last year. Was it last year? No, I don't think. It was a year, I think, that other year. Yeah, I did a message on, you know, uh, it was uh, about talking about that, you know, you imagine yourself entering to a haunted house, you know. And, of course, it was dark in there, you know. And you walking in there. And all of a sudden, soon you get to, uh, in a, uh, like, you know how those hunting houses, they be upstairs and stuff like that. You know, you walk in there, you see, you know, uh, you see, you know, scary stuff. You know, uh, what, what I had, I forgot. I, I, you see, like, something like, uh, uh, blood, you see blood on the floor, a lot of blood on the floor, you know. It's like, whoa, look at all this blood on the floor, you know. And and all of a sudden, you start, you know, uh, you heard a, you know, a scream, you know, and a slice of a uh, somebody getting their head chopped off. And you still, you still in the house. Now, it's still pinch back dark, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, all of a sudden you hear a noise, you know, a bunch of, you know, uh, it seems like a bunch of, like uh, three or four people walking upstairs, you know, walking from downstairs. And you still in the house, you know, and all of a sudden, you know, you, you know, those people see you and they spot you and they grab you and they, you know, uh, hold you down and they uh, march you upstairs and all of a sudden you look and it's still dark it's still dark you, you, but you feel them grab you and hold you and pull you upstairs and then all of a sudden the light comes on you know they cuss on the light and you see all kind of dead bodies you know and heads cut off you know upstairs and now, you know, they planning on cutting your hair, head off. You know what I'm saying? But the more the idea of the story is there were so many warnings. There were so many indications that this place is not supposed to be a place where you're supposed to be at. You know what I'm saying? There, there was too many things that too many signs, too many warnings that were there that say this is a bad place to be at. But, because, but you ignore those signs and you ignore those warnings and all of a sudden you're, you're getting your head chopped. You're going to get your head chopped off because you didn't take notice of the things that are going on around you. 
And you will think, well, that's just, you know, a, 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 a Halloween story, a hundred Halloween house story. No, that's the reality of how you treat life. You know what I'm saying? How many, how many, how many bad stuff got to happen in this world to tell you that this world is bad? <laughs> I mean, like, you know, they got this Ebola thing and they got, you know, uh, on, you know, television, you know, negative stuff on music, uh, movies, all kind of negative things that are going on and you hearing people speak negative things that things are bad and, and this cursing in their and majority of people speaking a cursing language you know how, ma how many how much negative stuff around you has to occur to know that you know things are you know going back you know, for you to get out of it <laughs> has to happen you know how much bad stuff how many people got to get killed how many people got to get in you know uh, bad situations uh, and die of sicknesses and you know and uh, and how much wars got to happen and all kind of calamity has to happen to show you that this world is not going to last long <laughs> you know it's the question that only you can answer, but here's the problem. You know, the most powerful thing that God taught me of what people do, you know, within their hearts is, you know, it's called accepting, you know? How much you accept so much negative things happen around you is how much you will pretty much be willing to tolerate the side effects of bad things. Like, you know, I tell people, you know, People, you know, smoke, you know, but yet they don't want to cough, you know. And people drink a lot, but yet they don't want a headache, you know, after the drink, you know. People do, people uh, argue and, you know, say negative things to people, but yet they don't want nobody to do that back at them. People fight people, but yet they don't want to be fought against each other when they're beat up or, you know, so bad that you know they're in the hospital but it's just that kind of scenario that you know so much negative things only can only give you negative and it's amazing that people will love Halloween you know and you know a place that you know all about fear you know the spirit of fear and celebrating darkness you know like darkness that you know there's positive things you can get from darkness, you know, and it's crazy. Hey, how y'all doing? All right, hey, I'm on YouTube. I hope you can check me out. It's called Mac, M-A-C-K, Johnson, The Reality. On YouTube, Mac, The Johnson, The Reality. Thank you. And, you know, the thing is, you know, how many bad things has to happen? Or more likely, the question is of our, how much we're gonna willing to accept that you know, bad things are supposed to, you know, we're supposed to live in something bad uh, 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 or we're supposed to engage in bad activity. But, you know, all I got to say is Genesis, you know, the first chapter that God created the world. And in those days, he said it was good. And that and the good that God said um it's not this bad that's going on in this country, you know, or this world, or going on around the world. And the thing is, a God is all about giving people something good and great, you know, when people really, you know, come to a true understanding of a relationship with Him that are willing to trade the, the bad reality of engaging in bad activity, having bad habits, for a good, you know, and great God that can give you great things and, you know, and life and life more abundantly through His Son, Jesus Christ, that, you know, people need to come to grips to understand. But when you got lust in your heart, you got oily hands that, you know, the, tr the truth will slip out of your hands and you can't hold on to things that are are real you know 
you can't you won't hold on to things that are true because what is real is what's true you know what i'm saying you just good at holding things that are fake you know that you know that are lies you know and that's the sad part you know about what people are not getting in reality you know that they're holding on to things because of their heart full of lust of 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 not that's not going to sustain it you know or not going to really give them what it's magnified according to the social media you know well, television radio and all kind of you know things communication you know materials they use to magnify this you know uh, world that you know is perishing but you know I'm here to you know present you the truth of God that you know God is all about you know uh, giving you life and life more abundantly you know I was talking to a friend of mine yesterday and I was sent, showing him the reality of what God wants in this world you know and I told him it's just simple you know he wants you to uh, to find people that will seek and find him even though they can't see him in their natural eyes but you know seek and find him within his word and and choose him in spite of seeing people that they can see with their tangible eyes and or you know in spite of you know the things that they have in this world that will you know uh, believe that will suffice them that we believe that it, it's a great treasure you know he wants us to choose you know us to choose a, a, a temporal world that we can see between a forever world that is unseen to us to see to find those that will you know go find them you know what I'm saying and that's what the kingdom of God is really all about helping you to go find your creator you know what I'm saying? And, it, you know, it's just that simple. And we're supposed to use his word and just follow his map, you know, the Bible, to find him. And it, it, it's simple when you start learning to, that's why learning to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and all thy soul and all thy mind, you know. When you do, that's why, you know, Jesus come put that, you know, uh, you know, he hang everything on the, you know, Ten Commandments on these two script, these two commandments, and the problem of uh, a lot of people, you know, re the religious and the tradition and the, you know, division world of church that they're embracing, not giving you everything. I mean, they're not giving you the ability to really find God. You know, they, they're you're finding only some of God. You know, you're not. You, they, that's what they're trying to show. They'll teach you that you're getting and they'll tell you you're getting all of God but you're getting some of God because what they're doing concerning their actions which we're supposed to you know judge the fruit of, of the tree of concerning of what they're doing is not not giving you the truth you know the whole truth and nothing but the truth but to fear God will always about giving you the truth you know what I'm saying but you know, fear of darkness is, of course, a lie because darkness doesn't have power. Because when you cut off a light, darkness appears, you know. It, uh, p darkness appears when there's no power. <laughs> That's the simple, you know, way you're supposed to look at darkness. And But, you know, in this complicated world that's trying to give you the lust after, you know, false things you know you won't see that you know but God is true God be truth and every man be alive God is a God of truth and he's going to be true whether you don't see him with your carnal eyes or not he's still going to be true he's still going to be great whether you don't even know he exists you know because you know Satan got everybody on this arrogant you know mindset that you know that oh they because they got abilities to create temporal things now they're some kind of God who you know you here today going tomorrow check out the graves all around the world all right that's the message I hope y'all learn how to fear God and stop fearing this stupid 
darkness. To God be the glory to him forever, ever. In Jesus' name, amen.